Oh, we, oh, we started. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. oh, this. Why haven't bro? I, I thought you was just doing the mic. It, it, what's up? What's up? What's <laughs> every single every time, time every bro? Time. You gotta. All right, it don't matter. What's up? What's up? What's up? You uh, it, shit. It's, 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 <laughs> fuck. All right, don't matter. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your man, Bob Glover. Go, go. Oh, the, the <laughs> you know the, the vein on your forehead. Go, bro. Poking Take out it. of your epidermis. Nonetheless, um, if you didn't know, get familiar. I'm the diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious. Analytical, methodical individual. The chiseled Adonis. Across from me, Marv Glover. Now, he doesn't go into his whole rhyming thing because uh, he got to deal with the vein popping out of his forehead. It, you know, if there was a phlebotomist in here, she, probably, we, she might focus? want to take your can blood. We focus? Nonetheless, all right. This is episode what? Six. Six. Ah. Of the Hold My Nuggets podcast. And what do we do here, Marv Glover? You know what I'm saying? We talk 50% sports, 50% real shit. 100%, 100% of, of the time. time. If you don't like that, you can hold my nuggets. Suck my dick. Now let's get into I am it. upset that Are you? I, I struggle with this intro. You, we got to set up a better system of communication. I, I'm not really fucking with this. So, so would you rather we reverse the seat so our heads match with the graphic? For future, yeah. You know what? Let's do it that way so I can see and I know, okay, the podcast really started. But then I would not see. Okay. So so are we well then is that associated with Jews cuz I will well, not see where, nonetheless where did that come from? Where, um where basically is the correlation? what I'm saying where is, is the correlation? what I'm saying is Yay. today is ah. a little bit of a different kind of episode. See, before, what we usually do is we come in here, we got ourselves our set topics, yeah. what we fixing to talk about yeah. and we break it down. But yeah. we wanted to make it a little bit inclusive for this episode. Let me, let me tell them how. So we, how are we going to do that, Marv Glover mustache? We are doing our first You know what? We going we going to talk about the disrespect a huh? little bit after. We doing our first ever Q&A, man. Q&A. Live, live Q&A. Mm -hmm. We ask, you answer. Well, he asks. I'm not really on social media right now. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But my my guy, my 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 bro there, my boy there, he went on Instagram. He asked everyone. He said, yo, look, we want to do a quick Q&A, ask us some questions. We got some good ones. We got some bad ones. We got a lot we don't even really want to do. But we're going to go through each and every single question. Right? Every single one. Every single question. No mm -hmm. matter how stupid, how like ridiculous, we're going to address it and answer it to the best of our ability. And, and that's what this episode is going to be dedicated to, man. So it's going to be fun. Are you yeah. excited? I feel like I am. We're going to get to every uh, every single question as long as our eyes don't skip it. Because right. you never know. One time you can scroll, you mess around and miss one. Right, so right, we're going right. to try to get to every single we gonna, one we gonna be in right. the time that we have allotted. But nonetheless, we're just going to kick it off, all right? You, you want to start with me? You want to start with you? Which one we going to go down? Because we got over... A hundred questions. We have over a hundred questions. Yes, we do. Right. They showed a lot of love lot on of the love. Insta story of the Chisel Donuts. I'm sure if Marv Glover was on social media at the current time I and have... he was to go on his, you know, his story and talk about, yo, send me a question about the Hold My Nuggets podcast, we go. would have well over 2,000 questions. But I have four followers. So how four. does that even Multiply work? Multiply that by two million. This now, regardless. Scary. Let's start off. You want me to start it up? You start it up. Okay. For, you know what I'm saying? First of all, he didn't even let me do my rhyme thing. It's your boy Marv Glover. Natural born lover. You can't go back in the time. Like no other. Can't she go can back preferably in time. smother. You know, listen, listen. I'm, 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 I gotta do my thing. All right, all right, all all right. right. All right. now we can get it started. All right. Okay. all right, okay. Kiss a baby, smack his mother. All right, anyways, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. First one. That's it's, funny you say that, kissing yeah. babies and smacking their mothers. Yeah. Like you ever thought about yo, if you slept with a single mom, would you eat their kids? Hey, yo, yo, no, no, no. Like, go. I can, can we focus? They there, right? Let's focus. Somebody gotta eat them. Focus. I follow the MJ. I follow Michael Jordan rules. Fuck them kids. Well, well, you, hey, well you said hey, kids and MJ. I'm on oh, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. What are you oh, talking about? Oh, that, 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 he that, do that, fuck them that, kids. That, hey, 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 focus. Uh, <laughs> focus. focus. <laughs> Let's get to the question. Focus. What's the first question? First question. All right, you're going to like this. This is, this is football related. In your opinion, how will the New England Patriots season turn out? Go. Um, they're going to win their division, as yeah. they always do. There you go. Um, I think they're probably going to lose in the uh, divisional round. I think this is going to be the broken streak of the eight consecutive or nine con no eight consecutive years in which they've been in the AFC Championship. So I think they win their division. If they get a first round bye or not, I'm not so sure. I think okay. this year they'll probably lose five games. Um, or maybe even four, but I'm, I'm going with five. I think they're going to lose five, go 11 and five, still win the division, but they'll be the three seed and they'll have a home playoff game, but they're going to lose on the road in the divisional round. Now things, things are subject to change, but I don't think they'll get to the AFC championship this year. So I think they're going to win their division, but they're, they're just going to lose in the divisional round. Interesting. Okay. Barring injury, of course, the Patriots, the best in their division for God mm -hmm. knows how long. So of course yeah. they're going to come out on top of the AFC East in terms of their record. I'm not sure. Maybe like, it's going to stay in that 11 to five, 12 to four range yeah that yeah because i don't think anybody in the um i don't think anybody in the afc is getting 13 games not at all so it's, it's gonna stay in that 11 to 5 th 12 to 4 range but i agree with you i don't think i also don't believe that they'll be making the afc conference championships and even if they do i don't see them going to the super bowl this year mm -hmm. so i think it either stops either the divisional round or the afc conference championship game if they do get there but no super bowl this year for the patriots if we're wrong fuck it yeah 
What's he now? Right. Go next on my end. <clears throat> So I ask, are you going to be making more Steelers pre and post game commentary videos That's this you. year? Well, this one being for me. Well, then again, you being a Cowboys fan, you started doing that on I the did. IG so last I, year. I, so I guess way. this will be for you as well. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, he makes his. Uh, it's only on IG though. It's not on YouTube. So yeah, he makes uh, you know recaps for the Cowboys winning or Cowboys losing. It's very sporadic, well, depending on how good the game was. Well, but this question was for me, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. I am getting to it. Um, week one, mm-hmm. going into um, them going to Foxborough. That's when I'm going to start it. I don't really want to. Cover it on the preseason, but I'm going to do a preseason wrap up of my evaluation of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Boom. I guess I would say two weeks time, mm-hmm. then you'll get it. All right, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing it. I think this is the most important year for me to do the the recaps of the Cowboys games, given that we're going to the Super Bowl and winning it this year. I, I want to make sure I'm on top of everything that happens periodically throughout the year. So I will be doing my recaps game by game. Last year when I did it, I did it halfway through the season. This year, you're going to get every game, except the preseason, of course, because fuck the preseason. But you'll be getting every regular season game, every postseason game, and, of course, the Super Bowl recap. I'll, I'll have everything ready. The champagne, the rosé, uh, Drizzy's going to be there. It's going to be phenomenal. Anyways, the next question uh, uh, do you think the Eagles would have held the Ravens to just 26 points and won by the end of the fourth quarter? What 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 is I don't I, I don't I what, what, do you know what after game you said Super Bowl? But were you talking about the Raven? Would the Ravens have held? No. The, do you think the Eagles would have held? Why oh, okay. the Ravens to, to under what to just 26 points and won by the end of the fourth? Which which game are they I, talking? I about? don't. Are they talking about the? The preseason you, you're, game? You're the football buff here. Um, I'm not sure, but okay. whatever they Did talk they, about. They, they just um, played in the preseason, right? I, th- I think so. Did I you believe they the played. Game? I didn't see their well, preseason game. Well, well that's clip. Did, did, did um, that. that's <clears> whoever shit. asked that question. Uh, uh, King yeah. King underscore. We're going to shout people out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah King, we are. King Kofi. King underscore Kofi. Well, uh, King Kofi, uh, you're going to have to answer that question yourself. Ask there a go. genie. Um, ask a, a, a psychic. There you go. Uh, somebody who, the, ask somebody who got like the cards, and we ain't talking Yu-Gi-Oh, so they could give you your answer. Um. Oh, also, they, you might as well shout out the other people who get asked the question. Oh, there was shout a, out to the first dude, Poppy underscore Jeff. Yeah, and there was a, a Mash, a Mash. Oh wow, this guy's got a name, Mash U E V. Okay, Ma- Mash U E V O Puto. If you I can't pronounce it, if you can't pronounce yeah, it, you it's go as far as for that. Now this question coming from Young X Young Savage underscore twenty one X. He said top receiving cores this season. Um, that's a very good question. Right, is it we doing top? Was it just top three, top five? No, nah, I'm assuming it's just top. Top receiving core. Just the number um, it one. It says core, rec- so we ain't only gonna go with one. We press okay. for time. So right. um top receiving core. That's a good question. Uh, um hmm. you got some good ones. Yeah, they do have some Eagles, good ones. the Chiefs. Yeah, the Eagles got a good one. Uh, the, the Chiefs got a good one. Uh Pittsburgh always has a good receiving core. Oh, no, I think it doesn't matter who who who's okay. there or not, but they always got a good receiving core. Mm-hmm. Um I'm forgetting who has a bunch of these receivers. Probably Cle- Cleveland Browns. You got Odell, you got uh, Jarvis got Landry, and all those ones, other yeah. people. Yeah, let's go with that by default because, yeah. you know, it, it's, I, it's my mind ain't. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a, no, you know, it's by yeah, default. Yeah, yeah, all right. If not them, then I'd probably put the, the Chiefs up there. Tyreek Hill is coming back. Yeah. Kelsey's still a top two, mm-hmm. top three uh, uh, tight yeah. end in the league. They, yeah, yeah, they beat secondaries and their kids. Next. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Well, I, that message was not endorsed by Marv Glover <laughs> Productions LLC. That is that is to chisel. Adonis, Tyreek Hill. God bless you. Anyway, and Adrian Peterson. This, this next one is not even a question. It's really more of a suggestion from Mr. Lieutenant J. He suggests you, you should really try eating ass, but he, he put two question marks. So you're suggesting it, but but you're I, also curious yourself. I, so I don't know if he's asked. You should really try eating ass. Like I, I don't. All right. So what I'm going to do right here with this question? Yeah, you can um you could go do that yourself. There you go. But um also make your location public. Uh, because <laughs> this is wild. I have a couple of people who um <clears throat> they be wilding in these streets. They yeah. can go and find you. Yeah. Uh, because uh, we ain't doing that over here. I don't yeah. know why you'd ask if people would like to engage in analingus. That's what, not what, what we're trying to do What have you been posting that is an insight? Um, nothing at all. Last I remember, we brothers against eating ass. There I don't know go. what's going on with this individual. You were asking if people want to in, engage in you, you, you know yeah, analingual yeah. activities. It's not going go. down like that, all right? That's Nobody just extemporaneously eats ass. That's that's disgusting. It happens right? by accident. You slip up. You understand? You well, that's a conversation for another time. Well, let's, you, let's get you can speak question. on your own experience. I'm not dealing with all that. <laughs> um, underscore Ford XX one underscore ass. How big? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, Tom. Whoa, wait. How whoa. big is your schlong? I'm not that's sure. A real, um, that's a real question. Yes, that's a real question. Okay. Um, I'm I'm not sure. What is a schlong? Is this a man asking this question? I have no clue. No, you don't got oh, it's from- it's it's a graphic photo, so it, it it's how, really tossed how up. Big is your, well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We Haitian. 
Well, there it is. You know what I'm saying? There All it right. is. There Moving it is. on to the next uh, question. I got the next one. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, Hughes Chris 674 <laughs> says, besides. I put shoes on three feet. <laughs> <laughs> besides the Cowboys, who do you most envision to need the Metro card for the L train? So, for those of you who don't know, uh, the Chisel to Don is on his page. He has a reference where you usually get the end of his commentaries or. When he references certain teams that just got clapped in a game, he has like a, a gra- like a, a video, like a B-roll thingy of just like a L train, which is train in New York City, whatever drive going by, um, and the person is asking, who besides the Cowboys, we're not going to need it, you know, because we're going undefeated. Uh, besides the Cowboys, who do you most envision to need the Metro card for the L train? So this, let's just say this upcoming season, who do you think is going to be riding the L train a lot? Oh, everybody. Um, but uh, who's probably going to end up losing the um most the games? most games? <laughs> Cardinals. Uh, probably the Cardinals. Probably um, the Cardinals. <clears throat> but you said something about a team going undefeated. Next question. No, because I want to know if I could take a hit from that um that cocaine that you had on this the table. Man here, next Fitting. Uh, no wonder the table white. You just lace it all with cocaine. Maybe I should take a sniff too. I'll, oh, the Steelers going to the undefeated this twenty-four man. and oh, but we ain't talking about that right now. Next, what made you? Well, who asked the question? Oh, my bad. Uh, Steve Stephen St- Stevening Stevening one oh one asked, okay. what made you want? To do what you do, YouTube, funny videos, etc. Well, um, basically it was like this. I always knew I had a, uh, you know, a passion for comedy since I was young. I just never knew I was going to go after and pursue it. So, mm-hmm. what made me want to go and um go into it was pretty much, you know, I wanted to do what made me happy. Mm-hmm. So I knew uh going to school and getting this business degree and sitting inside of a cuticle or or, or, or just going out having a briefcase and yeah. wearing a suit all the time. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go tell jokes. And the reason why I got into um, YouTube and things was when I started with stand-up, I'm doing this in front of between 15 to 50 people. I could post a video and do it in front of 1,000 people. So I said, all right, that's what I'm going to start with the videos and get that done. So that's really the catalyst of it. You're just reaching out to different sort of people and right. you know following your passion, making people laugh. The question is what made you do it or what makes you do it? Um, It was what? What made you do it? Okay, uh, I've been around comedy my whole life. Like I've, I grew up literally like living in front of a television. I didn't really do much extracurriculars. I know it doesn't. It's hard to tell. You know what I'm saying? Because your boy, your boy. Ah. Anyways, does I, it look ah, like Africa though? Does yeah. it look like there's no cut? Ah, see, see, this is you know this is a tricep. You don't. That's a we, tricep. The people at home can compare. You can really see what's going on. I don't see what nothing is, but blackheads on your arm. The, the webcam. The webcam. <laughs> you got no head? form. You like your bicep. Ah, your tricep ah, look like a keloid. Ah, let's focus. Let's your focus. Your tricep look like a keloid. Let's. Focus. Fact of the matter is, to make a long story short, I've been watching. I've, I've been watching uh, a comedy and been around comedy my whole life. But was watching stand up specials and and just just sketch comedy shows and, and sitcoms and things like that from young and grew up to make my own. I was at home in front of a webcam by myself, just making funny videos and shit like that. Went on and transitioned from that to making even funnier videos in high school. Got to college, got interested in stand up. Was also always involved in the arts too. Like I had I acted very early on in my life and things of that nature. So. I was always a part of the arts, but more specifically comedy. I was always so much connected to it. So it was really my first love. One thing led to another. And uh, now I'm here doing it full time and sitting across one of the best to ever do it. The Dillard, the Dillard, but I bought a chisel to Donis. And we get into it. We get into it. So next question from your boy. His name is uh, Sick Joker. And he asks, what's your favorite Super Bowl that's not that doesn't involve the Steelers. Uh, if we flip the question, we'll make it our favorite teams, right? Mm-hmm. So what's your favorite Super Bowl that, I guess, doesn't involve your favorite team? <clears throat> favorite Super Bowl that doesn't involve my team. I would have to go with probably Super Bowl uh, Super Bowl 49, most likely. Is that uh, the... Uh, the one New England Patriots taking on Seattle um, Seahawks. Okay. And which uh, Marshawn Lynch didn't get the handoff to win. It was just a, a back-and-forth game because, obviously, my favorite Super Bowl of all time was uh, uh, Super Bowl 43, where Pittsburgh beat uh, Arizona because uh, in my book that was, that was probably game. it was a sensational was a game it had everything oh but um God. I would say a second to that one would be um you know Super Bowl forty nine because mm-hmm. you saw uh Brady bring them down the field yep. gave them the lead and then you saw the miracle catch from Curse yep. and then they were in p- the position to win mm-hmm. and it ain't happened like that that was a sensational game to watch a lot of people said the Super Bowl fifty one with uh, the Falcons and the Patriots I was I was in a bar watching it and I remember encouraging the Patriots fans. Um, when they were down twenty eight to three, like yo, watch they gonna come back. Right. This is what Atlanta do. Right. And when it was happening, I'm like, yo, this is really happening. I had my hands in the air trying to give power to Julio Jones. Here. It was hilarious. But um, yeah, uh, Super Bowl forty nine. That was probably the best one for me. I would say I was gonna say that Super Bowl, but you know what? Since you messaged it, I'll go and say 
Eagles, Patriots when ah. that happened. Yeah, just yeah, for the it's fifty two. It, damn near a Cinderella story. You had Nick Foles, right, mm-hmm. who was damn near getting ready to retire at one point in time in his career because of uh, you know getting ruined by Jeff Fisher and a couple mm-hmm. other people. We're not talking about that. Anywho, comes back. Uh, Carson Wentz gets injured. He comes in, goes on a, a historic run. I think one of the greatest runs, postseason runs by a quarterback in history. You quote me. I don't know. Oh, Nick Foles. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know, wouldn't say it was what, like what, something like that. It was just a very. He played. A, I think he, a no. Good I playoffs, think he broke but, some records and things of that nature. I may be. Uh, I, I might recall. be wrong. I, I might be recall. wrong. But f- fact of the matter is, it was damn near a Cinderella story. And to see him come yeah. and beat one of the uh, the storied franchises in all of not just the NFL mm-hmm. but sports history in the fashion that he did it. Man, it's damn near tear jerking. So yeah. I'll, I'll say that one. So oh, and an honorable mention: uh, Super Bowl thirteen. Uh, Pitt, well, yeah, because obviously you can't put it in there because, you know, it involved Pittsburgh. But uh, Pittsburgh taking on Dallas, where they beat Dallas um, for the second time in the Super Bowl. But um, it, I watched the entire game. If you've never seen it, it uh, took place 1978. No, in ni- it was played in 1979, but it was the 1978 season. Okay. Um, I believe there was about 11 to uh, 13 Hall of Famers on the field. Wow. Absolutely sensational game. I got to watch that. Um, yeah, it, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful because a lot of people, oh, we only watch football from when we started watching as where we're living. No, you got to go back and watch those whole games, man. Yeah. Beautiful game. Absolutely magnificent. But, uh, yeah, um, next question. We got to get into a little bit of a rapid fire because we didn't get too far and uh, time has elapsed. But uh, let's see. We got uh, Zay. No, no, no. We're like halfway through. Oh, okay. Uh, okay cool, cool, so cool. we got this question's from Zay um, from with no O. Uh, five, no, two, five, two. Is a hot dog a sandwich? That, you know what? When we were going over the questions before, you was upset at that one. I actually like this question because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of perplexed. I, I, is it? I mean, what is a sandwich? Was it is it is it meat between the bun? Because yeah, then, what that is wouldn't what mean. is defined as a sandwich? I've never, I guess you know, I've never looked it up. Hot dog would be considered a sandwich. Okay, you know what? Let's just say it's a sandwich for the hell of it. You know what I'm saying? Because it it's built the same way. Some people relish and all the other condiments yeah. and shit like that. Fuck it, a hot dog is a sandwich. All right, there it is. Boom. Dank dankest underscore Tyler underscore seventy eight ever ripped your panta mm-hmm. in public? I would assume he's saying pants. Yes. No, I don't think I, I no, I'm a lie. I'm a lie. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Multiple times. Multiple times. I mm. like no, because what it is is when it's hot, you know, your balls get stuck to your thigh. So I be doing a lot of stretches, but my pants, I, I used to wear a lot of tight pants. I would rip them. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? From, so you used to shatter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Was, okay. Yeah, All right. yeah, it was bad. But yeah, well, have you mm. ever ripped your panta um, in public? Not that I can recall. I've gone outside with ripped pants because you know the struggle is real. The struggle is real. But um, <laughs> uh, the funny thing, one um, shout out to my uh, co-host on my other podcast on the uh, Unconventional Dead Ass Podcast, <sighs> uh, Loki Row <clears throat> or Mister No IG. He ripped his uh pants uh During while we was no two two weeks ago. We was out in the city and okay. his pants got ripped. Uh, so that was hilarious. Uh, so he had to walk with his hand down. Oh no no no! Oh, it, it, oh, it was absolute jokes. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, so jokes on you, buddy. But yeah, um, I never ripped my pants in public. Not that I could recall. Uh, next, this is coming from Marshall Mather, M- Marshall Matters, uh, Marshall Dot Matters. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the method of choosing these QBs in the NFL? What's your opinion on that? Um, what? what's what the mean? method? I mean, if whoever, yeah, nice. you evaluating college. If you play well, then bam. Um, not, really. not not too much. You, you play well in the the preseason. There's some people who you know they can play exceptional, um, and they're unsigned. There's some people who play like absolute garbage, and they're still signed. Yeah. But uh, there's no real way to explain it unless I was a GM. So there I, it is. I, I, there you go. All yeah. right, born fresh underscore J. This is a question for you because I, I don't really watch mm-hmm. this no more. What's your thoughts on Bray Wyatt new character on WWE? Oh, he's a fiend. I love it. A fiend? We yeah, he's a fiend. He, he's a, uh, um, like, uh, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but he's like this fiend that's kind of um, similar to what the Undertaker sort of ah, okay, is larger you, than you, life you, gotcha. character. Is that the guy who comes out with the light? Like, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the light is his face, and he just wear a different sort of mask, and he just been attacking a ton of Hall of Famers. So I love it because it, it – it, remember he's when villain, Randy Orton was coming up? Yeah, he's a villain. Yeah, a villain. When Randy Orton was the legend killer, take out all these – so I like it. I like it. Fair I enough. hope they let him be undefeated for quite some time. Oh, he's undefeated? As the fiend, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Go ahead. Yeah. But uh okay, next question. Okay, uh we got um from the one and only Douglas, the po- the the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Um I haven't had it yet. I haven't tried it. Yeah, I but I hear it. rave reviews, so I'm yeah, we're gonna have to check that things. out. All right, uh oh 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 it's Gen One X. What are your top five favorite animes? Top five favorite animes. Okay, so um I can't give any order, but um I'd have to say One Piece, okay, Death Note, mm-hmm. um One Piece, Death Note, Dragon Ball Z. Or just the entirety of the Dragon Ball franchise. Uh, uh, Guilty Crown, and uh, that's four. And um, do do do. Hmm. 
What would I put for a fifth? I am. Hmm. What would I put for a fifth? I don't want to say Naruto. I feel like there's something that I had that was better than Naruto. Really? Um. The, hmm. Wow. I am pulling a blank here. You got to. Uh, oh. Oh, maybe Konosuba. Maybe Konosuba. Yeah, because that was absolutely hilarious. I don't even uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, get, get longevity. Konosuba was kind of short thus far. So okay. yeah, I guess I'll throw Naruto in there. Alrighty. Uh, I got Naruto number one. I grew up. That's mm-hmm. my favorite anime. I'm and I want to full disclaimer. I've never really been a huge. Who's anime. your favorite character, by the way? Because I feel like that was a question too. In, in Naruto, in, 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 uh, in Naruto, uh, Jirai. I was a big Jirai. Guy. Okay, my guy yeah. was Shikamaru. I, I, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah. Jirai was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so I go Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. I'll do One Punch Man. Once again, I'm not a big anime dude, so I'm not gonna name no old ones. Like, no, no, you go. I don't know none of that shit. Uh, so Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, One Punch Man. I go My Hero Academia. I haven't been keeping ah, up with it. I stopped watching it like one son started. Get, one son got the powers. I just I can't. I couldn't keep up with it for whatever reason. And mm-hmm. then One Piece. Okay. And then nice, I said, nice, yeah. Nice. All right. Next one. Um, from the kid wavy. The kid underscore wavy. What do you plan on doing in the future of your YouTube and Instagram channels? That one is obviously for you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, right now all I'm uploading on my. <laughs> YouTube is is uh, is holding my Nuggets podcast episodes. I mean, I'm gonna start doing skits and sketches like that coming up real soon because I've got some really dope ideas. Instagram, uh, I upload a plethora of things. Stand up. I mean, I mean, now nah, I'll say this: the same stuff I put on my Instagram is essentially the same stuff I put on my YouTube. Stand up comedy videos, sketches, skits, uh, rants. If it's long enough, whatever the case may be for for both, I'll put it on both. But if it's just a one minute clip, I'll probably just keep it on my Instagram. But what do I have coming up? Uh, I'm working on some stuff. I got some scripts I'm, I'm working on right now, some short short films and web series and stuff like that I'm going to be a part of. So I guess that stuff. And yeah, what about what about you? Because uh-huh. you, you are the, you know, you're the guy. Oh, oh. You're well, the uh, dude. I'll make this short. Uh, pretty much everybody knows the state of yep. my social media. He's and, on the, He's on the way up. Ah. Yeah, I mean, I have the numbers there, but it doesn't really translate to nothing. So this, this is pretty much it. If I get blocked, it's clipped. That's it. I'm Yo, not, I'm not rebuilding anymore. I don't think he's going to get so, blocked. So um, bottom line is this. Appreciate it while you still can, because when it's gone, it's gone. He's you can only find anywhere. me doing stand up. He's not going anywhere. That's He's just, just getting started. Is. Yeah, moving on to the next question. Okay. Oh, I'm, it's me, right? Yeah. Um, uh, okay, this is for you. You're going to love this. Uh, how will the Steelers come back after not making the playoffs last year? Um, I think they'll win their division Um, because uh, Baltimore, they're still they, they, they're pretty much the same year, but I don't feel as if their defense is going to be as good. They lost some names, but John Harbaugh always figures out a way to make their defense work. Right. But I think they're going to be between the 8-8 eight and eight and the 10-6 and six area. Um, Cleveland, I don't think they're going to live up to the hype. I think it's going to be overbearing. I think they, their ceiling is probably going to be a 7-9 and nine or 8-8. Eight and eight. Right. Um, I don't think they're going to have 9 wins or more. I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to translate really? it to that. There's just The pressure is talking about Super Bowl, and this is a team that two years ago was 0-16. It's possible. With it is, talent, right? but I don't think they're going to be able to, you know, uh, maximize what people think they're going to be able to do. They'll put up numbers, but right. I don't think they're going to be able to finish games. Okay. And uh, I, I think Pittsburgh will bounce back and go to the playoffs because um, uh, they still have a very solid team. You think when you lose somebody like an Antonio Brown or Le'Veon Bell, all of a sudden, whoa, their team's going to fall apart. No, they've made some moves. Their wide receiving core, you don't need that um, – 100 plus catches and over 1500 yards and all that you just diversify the ball around big ben doesn't need to throw for 5000 yards like he did last year put him at 44 and lower that number of interceptions for forcing the ball they'll do just fine boom i was yeah. going to say that but i let him say it boom. yeah so um uh next question i have here is uh from griffin walker m w what kinds of music do you jam to i listen to all kinds of music one day i could be listening to hip-hop the next day i could be listening to uh pop one day i could be listening to r&b the next uh, next day i could be listening to country so i don't really have a preference uh i'm a big ra- i haven't really been listening to a lot of music as of late i've been just listening to like podcasts and like recordings of me doing stand-up and shit but like when i do listen to music it's hip i'm a hip-hop rap guy uh i'm same as him though i bounce around I- i'll mess with some country i'll mess with some uh, compas, I mess with some uh, uh, soca, fucking uh, I don't know, uh, pop. I'm all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah. Next one. Oh, shout out to the dude that asked the last question. I even shout him out. Ball out, Coda. Shout out to you. Mm-hmm. Next one. Synth Toby. This okay. Porn or anime porn? They're both the same. I I, I don't I don't know what he was trying to. Uh, okay. They're both porn. Yeah. Let's start off there. Uh-huh. I guess regular porn. I don't watch it. Do you watch anime? I don't watch anime. I have. I've watched in my it. Youth. Yeah, I. I, I don't really too. watch porn. Right. So, um, I, okay. Well, you get, there you, a, go. you get a you get a um human harlot and you yeah. just do what do what, what they do gotta, in the porn. I don't. Okay. You, next just, next question. Kind of odd. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, from Easy underscore Money Sniper three. Is it possible to fuck a dyke and get her back right? What does that mean? W- what is going on? Is that like conversion? <laughs> is that conversion? What? I okay. Do you, do we have something? For um, that? Have you I'm, have you I'm fucked not, the dyke? N- n- no, I've never fucked. The, I don't I, know. I assume that doesn't happen for a reason. I you know I would assume because <laughs> of the title. Yes, that, that uh, lets you know that they're not. Some people just want what they can't have. You know what? Next question. All right, from just underscore call me dot drew. But if you fuck me, die. I I she fuck you. I I would assume. Cause I she mean, has you whip it out. She whip it out. Yeah. So it's, I don't know. It's that's kind of weird. You got mm, there. It is. Oh, all right. Just underscore call me dot drew. Rookies and veterans with the most to prove this season and fave to win the Super Bowl go. Um, rookies with the most pressure, probably Kyler Murray, um, has the most pressure okay. because people are gonna think, oh yeah, you're the number one pick. You gotta come and turn the organization around. So he's got a lot of pressure. Um, DK Metcalf, he has a lot of pressure. You think so? Um, yeah, because of the combine, it's quiet down now, but it's only a matter of time because Seattle agree. not having Doug Baldwin. He's going to have to step up. And Tyler Lockett, they don't consider him a number one for reasons I wish I could say. I would agree if he got drafted in the first round. But Agreed. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, but um, uh, uh, who was the top running back taken? I, I don't think this was really a running this back This wasn't draft. a running back Yeah, draft. but I would say Kyler Murray. As for veterans, probably uh, you have uh, uh, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, um, Aaron Rodgers, mm-hmm. uh, because this team's missed the playoffs for the two, past two years, although he's been hurt. Mm-hmm. Um, you have uh, Drew Brees. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Philip Rivers as well. I'd say veteran, probably Philip Rivers. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd have him at the top, but below him, Matt Ryan and Cam Newton. Uh, rookies, I like. I didn't really pay. I paid attention to the draft, but it wasn't really that that many big names after like the top five or whatever the case may be. So I'll, I'll agree with you. I'll say Kyler Murray, especially given how he got there, them trading away Josh Rosen, new head coach that wasn't successful in college. All of those things kind of. Uh, are dependent on his success as a quarterback, which is going to be interesting given his uh, he's undersized and playing behind the mm-hmm. worst offensive line in uh, the National Football League. So he's the one rookie. I'll say veterans. I'm gonna say I'll say your guy Big Ben. I know okay. you might disagree. Ah, he, I, I'll say your guy Big Ben just because, like I said, with all that was going on this offseason, granted he didn't really say much. I think he's gonna you know let his play on the field do the talking. There are a lot of people that's already that are already mm-hmm. lauding him as a potential MVP candidate. So I think he, he has a lot to prove and show, not just on the field, but off the field in terms Fair of enough. what's going to happen in the media in regards to how players are going to be talking about him in the locker room. Mm-hmm. You get rid of a locker room cancer and Antonio Brown. You get rid of, I wouldn't call him a cancer, but you lose uh, Le'Veon Bell. Mm-hmm. Players who out, were outwardly <clears throat> outspoken about how negative or whatever the case may be this guy was as a leader i think there's a, a lot of eyes right now on big ben so ah, fair enough all right so call up eric brishoff because it's time for the three minute warning what we're we doing got three minutes? over here oh yes we got to do a little bit of a speed, speed round, round. Right. unfortunately Chindle for the individuals Chindle. unfortunately you're not going to be able to get your shout out at this point so we're just going to throw out questions and we are going to answer back rapid fire number Go. one we've got uh, somebody asking any tips on how to talk as professional as you read the dictionary read the source just read and write all right boom there you go uh my question is simple what made you start doing commentaries we love comedy simple Point yeah that, that was pretty much it go. all right um when is the chiseling of the unchiseled donna's challenge going no to happen next month next uh why do you think humans can't regrow limbs but can you grow everything to make a new limb what the fuck are you talking about oh, i don't uh, I, I, next next question next ask question. a doctor all right <laughs> next, next with celebrity crushes you would either fuck kill or marry uh, 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 i'm a big bernice burgos fan i don't really care about any other celebrities i love her i'm like uh, you know i'm obsessed go mm-hmm. Uh, I don't really got one. I, I, I don't. I don't have crushes. I mean, you like are that. a celebrity. So, we, anyways, next question. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you ever think about making a TikTok account? Hell no. Why would I? Absolutely I, I, not. What the, what the fuck? Give Go me ahead. cancer. Go ahead. Um. All right. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Please do a personal finance show. You should probably tune into personal finance shows. Well, we don't. You would need money to do a personal finance Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Do you have? I don't know. Oh, I, I don't. I'm broke. I've been looking for money. I'm, I'm, yeah. Wait, <laughs> I'm broke. Five, baby. <laughs> you know, you Ooh, broke. Five broke. There you go. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh, you. Is it you? Or is it oh, is it me? It's you. No, it's me. Uh, oh, oh, it's me. Okay, uh, let's see. Other question there. Oh, blah, no, no. Blah, blah, you blah, just blah. asked. It was me. Oh, yeah. uh, are you dropping merch? I've dropped merch already. I've dropped the You're Mad Annoying hoodies. That had a pretty high uh, turnout or whatever the case may be. Are you dropping merch is the real question. At one point, yes. Yeah, okay, boom. There you go. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Um. right. Let's see. Other ones that over here that we didn't ask. Uh, tits or ass? Tits. Uh, oh, I'm going to ask. I love it. Uh, okay, no, fair like, enough. Yeah, Next. yeah. Uh, uh, are you doing a meet and greet in New York? I don't have people that I don't have fans to do that. You on the other end, you could do a meet and greet in New Perhaps York. Perhaps I, I should. Yeah, I'll probably set that up. I'll, I'll, I'll put out the questions. I'll put out a poll. See how many people want to see that happen. Um, this other question: How do you feel about family members in Haiti asking for money? I don't have it. Stop at listen, Jean Claude. 
Jean-Baptiste, nous pas guerre, non? Nous pas foutre guerre. <laughs> Stop fucking asking, my dude. All right, uh, uh, I don't got it. All right, all right. Uh, this is a little raunchy. What's your favorite sex position? Shit. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm a missionary guy. It's an underrated thing. I don't yeah, know I, I, I think I'd have to say that, too. I, uh, like, I like to look at the face. Yeah, there you go. All right, yeah, go ahead. Go. Uh, uh, how are you doing in life? Oh, not so <laughs> How you do it? Good. How you do it in life? I don't know. I'm broke. Life is life is hard. I'm cool. God is good, but shit, it, life is hard. Yeah, life a little bit calcified, chief. Right, I ain't got it. What's the best porn category? If you know me, I love my big beautiful women. So BBW. Boom. There you go. Go ahead. Uh, um, the the realistic one. Okay. Boom. There you go. Okay. Cool. Go <laughs> yeah, go with that one. It's not porn either. It's actual coitus. Um, let's see. Uh, boom, boom. What other questions are here? Uh, favorite WrestleMania match of all time? Well, I got three. It's tied for three. I got a Rock versus Austin WrestleMania 17. I got a uh Undertaker Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 25. And this past WrestleMania, Kofi Kingston versus uh Daniel Bryan because I was there. Okay, I'm gonna go Ric Flair versus Shawn Michaels. That Absolutely. was very emotional for me. Uh, I'm gonna go John Cena versus The Rock. That was also I, I saw it on and off of that. Okay. And third one, ah uh, shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna go. Uh, didn't Kofi win the the, the yes. I'll this go that one. Year. That was all right. Last two questions. There you go. Uh, we got um somebody asked. Oh, what is my thoughts about Jay Z's deal with the NFL? I'm We're doing gonna... a video about that tomorrow. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, how many harlots have you hit? I, I, sorry, I'm a child of the Lord. I don't really know. Uh, that that I, I'm saving myself for Jesus. And yeah. with that said, created me. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is the outro song me. to the Hold My Nuggets purify podcast. Me. Thank you for tuning into episode created six. I am your boy Marv Glover, and that here is the diligent. So ba -ba 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 I can't do his shit, but you know what it is. And uh, we appreciate. If you didn't know, get familiar. Basically, there's a Marv Glover across from me. <laughs> I am the diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical individual, the chiseled Adonis. This has been the church service. It's been your pleasure. And what is this? The, the Hold, Hold My Nuggets, Nuggets podcast, podcast episode talk. six, where we do what? 50% sports, 50% real shit, 100% of the, of the time. time. And if you don't like that, you can hold my nuggets. Suck my dick. Thank you. Good night.